Good day everybody, this is Pillar from Tales Productions and welcome back to Star Trek Online. This is a free-to-play account played through the story of a 23rd century Starfleet officer and we are now on the final mission of the final storyline I'll be doing in this playthrough. So this is the Renega Renegade's Regret, Renegade's Regret, which is the final mission of New Frontiers. Um, so like I say, the last one of this playthrough, I'll be doing another sort of review episode for the New Frontiers storyline um, but that'll be a very small episode just after this one and then that's it it's over for now until there's more content released um just so you know i know i'll mention it in the next video as well but that is mainly because the gamma quadrant storyline i've already got on the gem hadar playthrough so no need to have it in this one but i probably will be playing through it we'll see um but yeah i've got nothing else to show you i haven't done the grinding that i said i was going to do because i haven't had time basically um because melting pot was only done a couple of days ago so i need to grind melting pot out and get a couple more items and i think that's about it oh and i want the 23rd century phaser rifle as well don't i um but other than that that's what i'll be doing after this whole thing's over probably but for now let's just start the renegade regret captain neff parr has turned herself in to authorities at deep space nine she's the zenkethi officer who delivered vital military intelligence to the alliance prior to the assault on bajor Captain Parr is now actively seeking asylum and claims to have more tactical information for us. I'd like you to debrief the captain and determine the nature of this new information, if possible. Okay, I can do that. Mission can only be completed as a single player. Interesting. I've got to go to Deep Space Nine, which is good. I'm nearly there anyway. What do I get? Ooh, new trait, new trait stuff. Not sure I'll go for those. Um, is that? Is that a melee weapon? It looks like a melee weapon. Draconian ceremonial pole arm. I might have to get that. Oh, no. All right. 30% Tetrion damage. I think I've got something that can replace already. Let's just accept this. Um. Yeah, definitely. It can replace 26.2%. There you go. That solves that. Brilliant. All right. Let's head to Deep Space Nine then. Luckily, like I said, I am. I'm right here. There we go. Begin the Renegade's Regret. Oh, I'm straight into the security office. Oh, nice. Oh, I can't get out there. That's a shame. Hello. Officer Rose Senna. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. The chief told me to expect you. The Zen Kethi officer is in the far room at the back. A Starfleet captain is speaking to her. Chief Rowe told me to expect you. Officer Rowe. There's a lot of Rose. All right, thanks. I'll head back there now. Let's do it this way. Oh, nice. This looks great. This is really good. Uh, okay, let's speak to Captain LaForge. Good to see you again. Tensions are running pretty high where the Zenkethi are concerned, but Captain Parr has gone through a lot to help the Alliance. She deserves a fair shake. Agreed, Captain. Okay, so now speak with Renegade Captain. All right, talk to Neth Parr. We keep meeting under less than ideal conditions. Uh, indeed. Uh, why are you in the brig? The chief of security thought it was a prudent measure. Technically, I am under protected custody until the Alliance decides what to do with me. I cannot fault this decision. Our military has much to answer for, myself included. There are many who might see a Zenkethi face and decide to seek vengeance. Well, I trust you. Come on out. Oh, have I got authority to do that? Wow. Just overriding DS9 security here. Don't mind me. Wow. All right, let's talk. Thank you. Far too many lives have been lost in this crusade. So I'm glad the tactical data I provided helped to save some. Oh, well, that's an understatement, Captain. No longer. I renounced the title of Captain after committing mutiny. Part of the price I paid to save those lives today. Let's move on. I have more information for the Alliance. I presume you are here to collect it. That is correct. Are you ready to hear my story? Yeah. It began on my first mission as captain. I remember it clearly. Captain's log, mission cycle 132. We have arrived at system 91, local designation EOC. 
Admiral Zen Tarak prepares to conduct Dread Sunni cleansing operations. Our tactical reports indicate minimal threat from the locals. This should be another egg run. Captain Pa, we are receiving an incoming transmission from Admiral Zen Tarak. Oh, am I, am I Captain Parr in this situation? Oh, nice. Okay. I might need to go through some skills. Let's not keep the Admiral waiting, Ensign. Put him on screen. The planet here. Scans show it to be filthy with the eggs of the Hatred Transuli. Their defenses are generally inferior, but their fleet could be dangerous in large numbers. While our ground squad prepares the weapon, we will ensure that no ship leaves this system. If one ship with one egg escapes, the contagion spreads. That is not acceptable. I know this is your first mission as Captain Neff. Don't let your excitement distract you from the task at hand. Stay alert! Of course, Admiral. We're prepared to enforce containment protocol as ordered, sir. Okay. See to it that you do, Captain. Set her out. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so I do actually have to try. Intercept course. Eliminate them. Uh, well, that can go away. Yeah. Why is it not moving? All right. Um. Either way, this is fine. I think. Lock trajectory. What does that do? Oh, nice. Hey, that's quite cool. Um. All right. I, I guess I'll just fire stuff. Right. Yeah. Then Kathy are quite good, aren't they? So. Oh wow. I didn't realize they were this good. Uh, uh, should we go this way first? Oh, these just look like freighters. So I'm destroying all the fleeing civilians as well. Ah. That's what this is all about, eh? Yeah, right, why not? Not my fault. I think I know what all these other abilities are. That's all fine. This is the freaker Starstruck! We're not warriors! Spare us, please! They've hacked our comms, Captain! Ignore them and Please stop! We're civilians! There's children here! Oh. Listen, what? we have Latinum. It's all yours if you let us go. You're about to blow up a fortune here! Be reasonable! Well, I guess I don't have the option to let them go, right? Wow. <laughs> that is really cool. Nice. I'm actually looking forward to playing with a, a cannon ship on my next playthrough. Yeah, this, the weird thing is, with the playthrough I've just done, this doesn't feel that out of place. No, 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 stop! Don't shoot! No, like, we tend to be killing a lot of people anyway. Did you hear me? I said we surrender! We... Uh, getting a bit dark. Blowing up the helpless! You pay for this monster. You hear me? You pay! I mean, it feels really strong, and that, I mean, it doesn't outweigh the disgusting depravity of it, but still, kind of cool. <laughs> Out. 
So I'm just reliving the memory of this, right? It's not I'm not actually doing it. It's already been done. I'm just seeing it happen and happen to be pressing some buttons, right? Right? Yeah. Thank you, sir. I will not forget today's events for a long time, hmm. if ever. So is she already sensing that it's sort of wrong then, by saying that? Or maybe she just means it's my first sort of time out. I'm fine with doing this, it's just, you know, you always remember your first time. Maybe. took a toll upon me and my crew. To eradicate the Dranzuli was one thing. The eradication of innocent Ioki was another. Despite my personal feelings, I remained a loyal officer. Things would change under Cronus III. I led the Protomatter Bomb Squad myself. I recognize this place. Draconis 3 is a primitive, pre industrial backwater planet. There is a large infestation. You know what to do, Captain. And Neff, keep your guard up down there. We think the target site is a temple. If that's so, the local savages may try to stop you. Feel free to discourage them. Oh man. Our firepower should discourage them, Admiral. They shouldn't pose much of a threat to the mission. We're good to go here. The weapons in the green. Protomatter Matrix is stable and primed. The Admiral wants us to deploy the bomb in the largest concentration of Dranzuli eggs. Looks like that's in some type of structure ahead not far from here. Ready to go when you are, Captain. All right, let's move out. Keep an eye out for the locals and make sure the weapon is protected. No more lucky shots like the known and four, okay? <laughs> the Admiral roared at me for a ten cycle over that. Okay. So yeah, I, I recognize this thing. And I guess there should be something on a wall this way. Fifty oh, this is a bit different. The bomb. Again. Huh. I'll take uh. that I'm standing right here, you know. Oh, what do these do? Nice. Oh, wow. What does that do? Ooh. Okay, I'm going to read these quickly. So, rapid energy damage. Target's foe for some Tetrion damage over oh, only 0.6 seconds, okay. Uh, target's foe after channeling 5 seconds to foes within a 15 meter cone, so that's huge. That's the melee, yeah. And then a protomatter laced energy blast. What? Oh wow. <laughs> that's so cool. This is actually incredible. This is the kind of thing that before you would have sort of put out of... Ooh, look at all them numbers. Um, out of Star Trek Online sort of engine's ability to do, if that makes sense. Like, just technically speaking. You'd think this was a bit too much for them, but no, it's good. It Large works really well. concentration of Transuli 8 ahead. Does it matter where we put it? The whole planet gets scoured. Ask the Admiral. I'm sure he'd just love to tell you. You know, after giving you a year of latrine duty. <laughs> so that is a fair point, though. Shut it. We got a job to do here. Why? Why does it matter where yes, it is? Sir. Sorry, Lieutenant. Just stay disciplined. Remember what happened on Hitaril. 
Oh, don't just be like that. Come on. Can I do that? Cool, good. I like to overdo it a little bit. So good. Weapons are just cool. Oh. Oh, so I can't turn that at all. Why am I dude using some cool abilities? Surely they should be. Alright, optional examine exterior murals. Oh these things, yeah. Okay. And it's quite cool that it's redoing this, so we see it from, from their point of view. Want these eggs to hatch if they knew what was inside them. Yeah, I wonder why they're sort of worshipping them. Seems a bit strange. Are these fools gathering Dranzuli eggs? What? Are they worshipping the eggs? Why? It's so cool. Are there any more optional things? Can I do anything inside here? Hello. <laughs> they were just inspecting the murals. They don't feel harsh. Look at this picture. There's a Vulcan in it. Well, you can tell that from that mural. Mammals all look the same to me. Uh, you know, they probably say the same about us, right? Please. I don't look anything like you. I'm actually good looking. <laughs> is this an interior mural? Yeah, it is. But so this should. Do the Zenkethi know us? Status report, Captain. Have you breached the structure yet? Yes, sir. We found something interesting as well. Transmitting data now. Starfleet. Yep. Interesting. Your scans indicate that image is centuries old. More Federation time travel nonsense, perhaps. Proceed with your mission, Captain. We don't have time for archaeology. All right, away team out. Uh, so our mission is literally just to drop a, a massive bomb, right? Which shouldn't take long at all. Oh, oh, did that in the wrong place. Oh, there we go. One of you finally uses an ability. A bit of a waste, but Captain, fine. Transuli signatures are most concentrated here. All right, can we place the bomb? Go on. This looks like a prime detonation site, Captain. We'll get the weapon placed. They're ready to go. This won't take long. Who's on Overwatch while we deploy the bomb? That'll be me. Get the weapon ready. I'll make sure you aren't interrupted. Oh, I've got to do it outside. Okay. So, it does seem a bit strange that they're just so willing to wipe out entire races for this. Although, yeah, okay, we've had that explained to us. Is that the door closing? Hey, we're still in here, Captain. It's okay, team. You'll be fine. Oh wow, I totally missed. Do, 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 do. There's a little bit of plodding. Nice. Placement complete. Great Ready shot. For detonation. Now. What? How are these guys getting so close? Stop it. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, I guess the door wasn't meant to close. Wow, 
Bomb squad reporting. Need to stabilize the proto matrix here. Oh, there's a lot of them. Brilliant. This isn't really that easy. But mainly just because of the controls and the number of enemies, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, it is easy. Obviously. There's no way I'm ever going to die to this, I think. If I'm only on 80% now. Do, 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 do. The bomb's ready, but we're stuck in here. Transporters can't lock on. Well, it's like you're just going to have to sacrifice yourself. Yeah, they sort of they run around you a little bit, which is quite annoying with your abilities. And it's annoying that your two ability doesn't kill them all in one shot. How do I get this door open then? Oh, you can run. Cool. Uh, Admiral. We're reading a large number of life sites massing near your location, Captain. Yeah, it's all right though. Assault is imminent. Is the weapon ready to deploy? In moments, sir. But my men are still trapped in the structure. Transporters can't lock onto their signals. Unfortunate, but we don't have time to extract them. Ooh. We received a priority assignment from the Autark himself. We must depart at once. Prepare for transport. I was only joking. Sir, give us a little more time. Beam an engineering team down. We can break into the structure with explosives. Just because the Autark has ordered us to be somewhere, surely he means don't let people die, but you know, come when he can. Whoa, burn. No, sir, I would not. Wow. Wow. Okay. Starting to learn a little bit about the Zenkethi now, aren't we? Oh, he's got the 23rd century beam out as well, that's funny. I left those men to die. And for what? So the Admiral could reach his next genocide on time. It was madness. Yeah. So there were no evacuation plans? No rescue efforts? None. The Autarch's orders were quite clear on those matters. And the Admiral was all too willing to execute those orders. When we reached the Atosi system, it had become clear. Our crusade was not a just one. Atosi Prime, long distance scans suggested the presence of Dratsuli infestation, but we'll need to be certain. Standard operating procedure, Captain. Begin by conducting a scan of the planet. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's hope this was a false alarm. Oh, is this the, uh, what's it called? The Kantari place? Or it was actually on the moon. But they were. This is Counselor Hale Eternum. No. <laughs> I speak for the Atosi people. We know of you, Zenkethi, and your purpose here. If you scan our planet, you'll discover that it is free of the bioform objects you seek to destroy. A scan of our moon will reveal the presence of those objects in totality. When we heard the fate of other worlds like ours, we collected the objects and place them there for you. Okay. Scour the moon as you will. It is devoid of life. Atosi Prime, however, is not. Over four billion souls dwell mm. here. In their name, I ask you now. Spare our world. Spare our lives. It's laying it on a bit thick, isn't it? So I'm assuming the Admiral is going to tell us to destroy the planet still, even though there's no eggs on it. But why would he? What would his justification be? Yep, yeah, sure. I'll do that. So, let's do the planet first. Uh, scan. No signs of infestation, Captain. Shall we scan the moon next? Yes. Yeah. Helm, set a course for the Atosi moon.
Really nimble the ship, it's great. Captain, I'm reading a large concentration of Transuli eggs on the cool. Atosi moon. Very well. Prepare the torpedo launcher. Are they worth telling the truth then? Great. Uh, we can just do this. As you can see, we have been truthful. Nice. That's cool. I like it. Is that the Admiral ship then? Yeah. As you wish, Admiral. Okay, that makes sense. If it's that big a deal, we should make absolutely certain. Okay. Report, Captain. I'm picking up low level signs of infestation across the planet. Are you as well? No. Negative, Admiral. I believe the Atosi were being truthful here. There's no sign of Jansuli infestation on our sensors. It could be residual traces left behind when they move the eggs. Or it could be shielded pockets of infestation. Another crude attempt to deceive us. Hmm. We must be certain, Captain. Prepare to scour Atosi Prime. I knew it. Sir, with all due respect, Atosi Prime is not a threat to us. There's no need for this. There is every need, Captain. Since you appear to be incapable of following my orders, I will deal with Atosi Prime myself. Tactical, prepare to fire a protomatter torpedo at Atosi Prime. Admiral, no. Don't do this, sir. No, we're not a threat. We're not Well, that's pretty dark. I like it. I don't like that a lot of people are dying or anything like that, I but stomach no more dark storyline. Good. I could no longer walk upon that path of madness. My crew felt the same. Together, we began to walk a new path. It is done. In light of your service to the Autarch and the Coalition, I will not have you shot for treason. If it were anyone else, be warned. The next time you see fit to walk the path of disobedience, I will not stay my hand. I'll see to it that your entire lineage is purged from existence to the last scale and egg. Wow. Do I make myself clear, Captain? Oh, yeah. Yes, you do, sir. Helm, get us out of here. And that's it. Wow. Okay. Admiral Zen Tarak has a lot to answer for. We can only hope the Zenkethi Crusade has come to an end at last and that nothing like this ever happens again. That path, that choice, led me to where we are now. Walking it ultimately gave me the strength to stand against the Admiral and defect to the Alliance. I think we can both agree that journey has reached its end. From this point forward, I begin to walk along the path of atonement. That journey will never end for me, but I will help as many as I can with every step I take. Well, that's very honorable of you. Thank you. I hope your superiors have the same opinion as well. As long as the Autarch lives, he will continue to pursue his insane crusade. I believe I can be of use to the Alliance when the time comes to stop him once and for all. So Obviously, the orders came from an autark, or that's where they assume it came from, but it was the Admiral, really, that was causing, or that was making the choices and stuff. So maybe the Admiral's misinterpreting or being uh, deliberately deceitful again about the autark's orders. Maybe it's actually the Admiral. I shall abide by their decision until our paths merge once more. Wow, goodbye. 
cool. Yeah, let's get back up. Wow, fairly short episode then. For the very last one. Unless there's more to do now, let's um let's hand it in or check. It sounds like Captain Parr has had some harrowing experiences out there. It's clear that the Autark is dedicated to wiping out every last threat to the Zenkethi by any means necessary. Disturbing. Alliance officials will be reviewing the captain's request for asylum soon. The help she's given us and your report will go a long way toward the approval of that request. Oh. Yeah, I think she should get in. She's pretty decent. She's a nice enough person. Um, ooh, okay, so 15% Tetrion damage, or... I mean, obviously I'm still considering the melee weapon. Base tray is plus resistance after being shot from behind. Meh. Although that could be quite good against the, um, the Herc. Or ground tray plus resistance after being shot from behind. No. I might as well just take the plus 30% Tetrion damage. Hmm. Although with Diminishing Returns, because I'm using three of those, that won't give me an actual 30% probably. Whereas that will give me an actual 15%. Plus improved shield he healing and... Uh, I don't really do any draining, but resistance to that might be good. Maybe I'll go for the Science Console. Yeah, I could always replay it and get that tactical. Let's take the Science one to start with. And then I'll take a look at what I can replace it with. Um, but yeah, there you go. All done. So that is the end of the New Frontiers storyline. The last mission there was um, a short one, very short, but a really cool mechanic used that you don't see a lot of. Uh, you do with ships. You see a lot more sort of you being in another ship than you being in another character, playing another character. Um, and I guess mechanically that was would be a fairly simple or similar process sorry, as far as the coding goes, but um, maybe a little bit more complicated. So that's cool. I like that. Really good, actually. Uh, so in the next episode, I'll be doing a review of the whole storyline uh, and probably spend a bit of time at the end of the next episode discussing what my future plans for this character will be. Uh, but for now, that was The Renegade Regret. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. hope you are enjoying and I hope you will enjoy. But by far, the most important thing is to look forward to the next episode of Star Trek Online. <laughs>